Hey YouTube. Um, I'm going to do a review on my Curly C, my Arjuni Curly C that I just purchased and received. And it's 14 to 20 inches of low luster, mainly low luster. I have like two ounces of medium luster. So it's like a medium and low luster blend. Yeah. I have washed in conditioned it and apple cider vinegaris and been manipulating the curls, which it was tighter, but I'm constantly pulling because it's still damp and I need to blow dry it real fast so I can show you how to lift it and how I'm going to lift this hair. Okay, this is my longest piece, which is the 18 to 20 inches. Okay, <clears throat> so this was a total of 9.4 ounces of hair. Um, the picture that I used for my inspiration was a picture of Onye, which I'm about to put up right now. Yeah, I used that picture, and if I'm not mistaken, when I submitted the um, what I wanted, they sent me a blend back of 12 ounces. Yeah, it was 12 ounces. And I deleted one of the 18 to 20 inches um, wefts because I felt like 12 ounces was a lot of hair, even though I should have went ahead and got it and just kept it. But I felt like that was too much. And once they took that off, it came down to like 9.4 ounces. Um, Onye, she has, I think, approximately like 12 ounces of curly C in her hair. And it's beautiful, but I just know it's about to get summertime and it's going to be hot. So, yeah. I have two wefts of 14 to 16, which are these two. And two wefts of 16 to 18, which are these two. Yep, and my medium luster is a 16 to 18, two ounces. I think it's this one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and my 18 is 20. So all together, I have one, two, three, four, five wefts of hair. The um, weft construction. Um, all of them look the same to me. Um, it's the same as my wavy B. I don't see a big difference. I was kind of scared of the new wells. I keep hearing a lot about the new wells, but they pretty much look, um, like how my wavy B did. It's only one, and I think it's this one. <clears throat> I think this is like 2.6 ounces. This one now is a tad bit thicker than my way to be um but this is the only wealth that is different yeah and it's still sturdy yeah wealth's of steel or what they call it but um that's the only wealth that's thick and the rest of them are like the average wealth that i had on my wavy b i don't i don't know the difference in that i haven't seen it yet but yeah so that's about all um, as far as this hair, um, mainly in this video, I was going to show you guys how I lift my virgin extensions, um, which I stated in my wavy B installation update video that I learned this technique from this bossy live, um, channel. You can watch her video as well, but the way that I'm going to be doing this, I went ahead and wanted to make a video because, um, the questions people and you guys ask questions about it and you want to know how I did it and everything so I feel like I just was going to make this video so you guys can see how I'm going to do it um the only difference is with this I'm going to do more of the ombre <laughs> that's what it's called when your roots are dark and your ends are light it's called ombre o-m-b-r-e ombre so I am going to lift probably halfway of the extension so this whole thing I am going to live half of it and the color pattern that I'm going to try to do is going to be like a chocolate mix 
So the back is going to be dark chocolate and the chocolate color is going to get a little lighter. But I'm going to do the same thing to all of the wealths. I'm going to do half of the wealth. I'm going to do half of the wealth. So I'm going to lift half of the wealth. What we're going to need is, we're going to need some gloves. First off, gloves. We're also going to need some aluminum foil. I don't care what kind of aluminum foil you use. I'm going to use this. So, um, and I use the same thing that Miss Bossy used, and that's 40 volume developer, which mine is by Clara Professionals. Yeah, looks just like this. Got it from the beauty supply store. I'm going to use this. Um, and as far as my, I'm not going to add any color into it. I think if you're going to add color to your developer or something like that, you need to go with the lower developer, like a, a 10 or a 20 or something like that when you add in color. This is mainly for 30s and 40s. Is to, to me, this is what I, I was taught, that 30s and 40s were for lifting. And 10s and 20 was to add color um, to dyeing or whatever you're going to do with it. But yeah, I'm going to use this 40 because I'm going to lift. And as far as washing, I'm still going to use my same, my same shampoo. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet with the conditioner that goes with it. Also, once I do that, once I put the, then I do this step. Um, I use my Apple Keratin two minute reconstructor. I put this on and place it in a shower cap. I place my hair in a shower cap. My extensions go in the shower cap. Put this on, let it sit probably like five minutes and then I rinse it off. That's what I do with that. My last step is this and this is the condition that I was talking about um, in my Wavy B straighten video was the um, Elasta OP Intense Fortifying Condition Treatment. This is the last step that I use. I put this on and I do the same thing. I put it in the shower cap and I let it sit. Um, the instruction says to let it sit for 10 minutes in a plastic cap. I don't know if I keep it on there that long. I probably keep it on there probably like five minutes and then I rinse it off. Um, all these products was bought this and this were all bought at the beauty supply store. Now, um, this Giovanni stuff uh, was bought at Whole Food. But also, I watched Miss Bossy video and she used the Ava Moisture Conditioner, conditioner <laughs> on her... Um, curly and wavy D and her curls last for a long time so I'm gonna try this once I finish doing everything to this hair and see how it looks um, comfortable comfy what I'm gonna do since um, this is my longer piece which is the um, 18 to 20 I'm gonna put this one by itself and I'm gonna put my 16 to 18 inches both pieces by itself as well as my 14 to 16 inches they're going to go by themselves so all you're going to do is just take the 40 volume developer pour it on the hair mm -hmm. and just saturate it I try to use, leave one glove dry so that I can touch things. It's better that way. Um, so you won't get it that developer everywhere all over the house. Um, I put on just some raggedy clothes too. Anytime I'm messing with dye or developer, so I just got some old scrub pants and top on, and it'll work. Yep, so make sure it is saturated all the way through. So 
I just ball it up in my hands, do the little scrunching method. Um, yeah. And you see how it's dripping out. Okay. So that's all you need to do. And with that, um, make sure you do it like this as well. Lay, this is how I do it. I lay it flat. Lay the hair flat on the aluminum foil, having some of the dry part in the aluminum foil. I don't kind of bunch it up. I kind of like leave like that. I don't want to lay it on top of each other because some parts get darker. And like I said, I want this kind of to be the ends. I want all of it to get coated or whatever or whatnot. <clears throat> it don't have to be even. It looks better when it's not even anyway. Then take the foil and wrap it up like a burrito sandwich, whatever you want to call it. And that's how I do that. And I'm going to do that to each of the pieces. Set that off to the side. Grab another piece of foil. And I'm going to take my next level, which is the 1618. And try to keep it in order so that you'll know what's going on. Let me lay this over here. <clears throat> so that you'll know what's going on and what colors you want what. And like I said, I want it to be more of a chocolate color. And I want it, the back to be the darkest. So. And do the same for the last, and that will be it once you finish with that. Once I finish with this and wash it and everything, i come back with how the coloring is. Like I said, once you do this, you can apply constant heat to it, or you can just let it sit. If you let it sit, it's going to take longer. The heat actually speeds the process up, um, the lifting process. But when I do it, I kind of go off and on with the heating. I probably do a little here, a little there, a little here, a little there, you know. I don't know. I'm lazy like that. And I got um, to finish making my Easter dress. So <laughs> I'll be doing it while this is sitting. Okay? Once I finish, I will be back. Bye.